Y'all want to see some of the studio? All right, control room. Here we go. 11 foot ceilings. Console will be up there. I love that I'm going to have a window. I love it. And uh, it'll be a, a big booth off in the corner here. Big booth there. And um, yeah, so this is from where the console's sitting. So that will be the control room. It's like 26 by 26, 11 foot ceilings. Yeah, uh, I'll show you the lounge. So big booth there in the corner. And then we'll come through here and this will be the lounge. It's hard to, it's really hard to see, but this will be the lounge. And uh, this will be studio bathroom. Attic space, storage space. So, yes. Pretty stoked. Got the floor all shimmed up because this is getting three layers of a subfloor. This is just the first subfloor. The floor is going to get uh, green glue, drywall, green glue, and another subfloor layer. And then hardwood on top of that. So then from the underside of the control room, we got three. Normally, these would just be single floor joists. But we got three on the end and then all the floor joists are doubled up and then this beam on the front of the house is like way way thicker than than they would normally be so lots of support for all the extra weight yes all right hvac is in it's looking good thermostat right there and then wet bar is gonna go right here. The run and plumbing on Monday. Lounge in the bathroom. And then I still gotta put a cold air return in right here. And uh, separate HVAC, that's mine. That's for the rest of the house. So completely separate units. It's badass. And then gonna do all the electrical I got to mark off all my boxes separate circuit and then the booth will go right there and it will have a vent and then when I do the booth I have to tie in with the cold air return for that but that's the progress all right up at the new studio I got my plumbing in uh, I got to I'm here to mark off all my boxes electrical and whatnot Kind of rough laid out the booth. I think this is probably what I'm going to do for the booth. Doorway into the booth right here. And then that'll be the booth. It'll be super comfortable for guitar or singer or whatever. Plenty, plenty of space to be nice and comfortable in with its own HVAC for the booth. And then go in the lounge here. They got my plumbing for my wet bar in. So that's exciting and HVAC is all in and then they plumbed my bathroom as well. So that's exciting. And uh, they'll run electrical. I think electrical starts Monday. So good times. All right, the electrical AC is in. Got boxes everywhere. Quad boxes all on a separate circuit right here. Quad box for the booth on a separate circuit. Switches. Outlets for the sconces. And a triple switch right here. It's going to run the sconces on each side of the wet bar. And a ceiling fan in the lounge. And the bathroom. Cool. Looking good. Oh, and got boxes in. These will feed the ceiling clouds that will have the lights in them. So, that's pretty cool. All right, got uh, sprinklers in. Everything's gotta be sprinkled here. And um, got my uh, 
TV and my data, my Cat5 in. And then uh, sprinkler system goes back. One in the hallway, a couple of them in the lounge. Yeah. So that is that is the progress. Looking forward to uh, supposed to be do, working on the floor here pretty soon. I uh, got to lay the other two layers of the subfloor with all the green glue. That's supposed to happen pretty quick. So looking forward to it. All right. So here's what the entire subfloor of the studio looks like. Um, they got the floor all done. So we got uh, three quarter inch plywood. And then we've got a layer of green glue, uh, one tube per four by eight sheet, and then a layer of five eighths drywall, and then another layer of green glue, one tube per four by eight sheet, and then another layer of three quarter inch plywood. And then there'll be hardwood on top of this. Um, and basically, I mean, I don't know if you can hear my steps. It's basically like walking on concrete. So double studs, everywhere and then three layers with the green glue it's super super dead so that is fantastic i know it looks the same on video but super pumped about this if you're going to have a second story studio uh like this control room is on the second floor it's super important that the floor be super dead like this you can see the green glue popped up from between you know some of the some of the floor pieces. So there we have it. Flooring is done. Like I said, there'll be a layer of hardwood on top of this. And um, yeah, moving along next uh, should be insulation. So stay tuned. All right, insulation is in. Uh, sounds so dead in here. <laughs> um, so insulation is all in, floor is all done. So they should be hanging drywall next week um yeah studio or control room and uh it's awful dark in here now but and then the lounge yep sweet so there is a lot of debate um about what kind of insulation to use in in the walls of a sound of an acoustically treated space when you're trying to soundproof. And I have went down the rabbit hole uh, researching this. And um, so here's what I've come up with. A lot of people, there's, there's a, a good chunk of people that think that you should use like 703 or Roxul or, you know, some sort of actual soundproofing um, or sound deadening insulation inside the walls um, <clears throat> and the idea is that that insulation is going to absorb the resonances in the wall between the drywall the inner and outer surfaces of the wall um, and then there's a whole bunch of people that think that that's not necessary and here's what I've come up with so after doing a ton of research what, where I've kind of landed for my personal opinion on it and this is my third studio build. Um, so it's not like I haven't done this a few times before. You can calculate the resonance inside of a wall. And it's basically the mass and the distance between surfaces. And you can calculate that resonance. And a lot of times it ends up, high, you know, about 500 hertz or higher. Um, and then you can do some research on the acoustic properties of your insulation, your 703 and uh or just regular insulation like that's all r38 um <clears throat> and basically what when you run the numbers what you end up coming up with is that regular insulation is like this is totally good to absorb down to below the resonant frequency in the wall so below 500 hertz so because insulation doesn't actually have much of an stc rating which is the 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 rating of how much sound passes through a wall or a structure. No insulation has hardly any STC rating. It's all mass and decoupling that create 
your soundproofing, much that's so much more important than insulation. Everything plays an effect. Yes, insulation is part of it, but it is a very small part of it. And <clears throat> so basically the only role of this insulation is to deaden the resonance inside the wall. And uh, so when you really go down the rabbit hole and you really actually run the numbers and you calculate the resonances and all that stuff, you end up with regular insulation is just as good as Roxul or 703 Owens Corning or whatever inside a wall behind your drywall. So uh, hope that helps someone. I know some of you were interested in that. All right, drywall is up. Uh -huh. So drywall is all hung. And uh, that's pretty exciting. Looks really good. No clue when they're going to be mudding or anything. There's like no reference for how big or small the room is though now, but, and then, uh, super dark in here, but lounge, and then bathroom, mm-hmm, so, that's exciting. We also got working on all our brick. Got most of the most of the house bricked. Just about it, all of it is done. So I think we're on track to be done early, possibly. Um, we'll see what happens. So drywall is done being sanded. Um, the place has been cleaned up and swept. Uh, I would imagine paint is next. Paint will be obviously before trim and before doors. So paint should be happening pretty soon. Um, it's interesting, I'm gonna stand in the center of the room here. So there's like no standing waves. That's a terrible snap. I lit my snaps just one way, whatever. But it is some serious reverb, so I got my work cut out for me. Um, let's look in here. Lounge. I took all my measurements, getting ready to start designing the acoustic treatment. Bathroom. Yeah, everything's done. Paint is next. Trim guys are starting. Uh, we got doors. Yup. We got the doors everywhere. So that's cool. A little bit of progress. Uh, paint starts Friday. And we'll be done by Monday.